Hey guys, it's me, Wilson, and we're back with another video on F1 2021. We're here for round eight, event four of F1 Esports Challengers. We're here for Zandvoort, um, and this is the one-shot quality. If you've already watched Belgium, um, or if you haven't watched Belgium, I won't spoil it. Uh, it was an interesting race, uh, more exciting than a, um, some of them. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting race, so that was the short quality of this event. Uh, we're now heading into the one shot. As you can see, it's dry, dry for both um, both quality and race. So, yeah, these one shots are very tricky. And, uh, yeah, heading into this, I was actually pretty confident in the one shot uh, pace-wise, but knowing me, um, I, 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 in the real session, I really struggled to just hook up the one shot. Uh, I don't know, I've, I've not hooked it up since Bahrain, where we got P2 in quality. And uh, it, it's um, it's my crypt tonight. Uh, so kind of annoying, hoping to uh, eventually fix that uh, in this qualifying. But yeah, feeling really confident for this. I knew we could get top three, maybe a chance to pull because uh, our pace was very good. But uh, nevertheless, I'll take you on board for a lap. We've got one chance to make it count. So going into turn one now, you break very late on 11 and 11 wings here. Just before the 50 meter board, down to third gear, hit this apex up to fourth, then use a tiny bit in the track and exit. We do that very nicely, then through this right, down to fifth. Keep it in fifth, and then through this banked corner, you use, you use the camber very well to rotate your car, and then up to fourth, up to fifth. And then now, traveling down this left right sequence, it's all flat in these modern F1 cars. Now, through this flat right, it's a high two split. Through this fast right hander, very quick speeds through this corner. Then through this right hander, very, very quick. We missed the apex just slightly. Then through this other right hander, the left tires are screaming now up to fifth gear. It's not been too bad of a middle sector so far. And then up to fourth, up to fifth, short shifting our way through into the last sector now. We are fourth on our dashboard. This is looking like a P4 for qualifying, a point four split. Do this right hander. It's a little bit tentative. We've made a little bit of a mistake. We're very slow on the power. We've lost three positions to that corner. Can we gain any on this last corner? We do it fairly nicely. We gain it back. It looks like P5 on the dash through this final corner. And we drop to P7 randomly and I up lost. to the line. It's a 9.7, not a great time at all, and a um, bit of a shame to be honest, um, we definitely bottled an easy third or fourth there, um, but I'm not really too sure what happened there, the last corner wasn't that bad, and um, yeah, we lost, uh, I, can't, I can't get my words out, we lost two positions uh, going round the banking, so uh, it said P5 or P4 or whatever in our, in our uh, steering wheel. And then we lost two or three positions. I, can't, I think it was two. So uh, very interesting, very close to Primoz there. But yeah, that's uh, very frustrating. We bottled. I'm pretty sure we done a mid two last, which is a tenth off what you want to be doing. So uh, easily bottled a low six there, or uh, maybe even a mid six, which is really all we could have asked for. But uh, yeah, a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, as I said, we're going to need to fix these one shots because I just, I just can't seem to ever get them right. Uh, and it's a bit of a shame. So uh, hopefully uh, for next event, I can sort that out. I think it's USA next event, so that doesn't make life easy. But um, yeah, that's put us in a tricky place for the race. We're P7 and round Zambor. This is going to be interesting. Very tough to uh, gain positions around here because um, everyone's in very high wings. You lose the RS very quickly, etc, etc. But nevertheless, let's go into the racing. Five red lights and away we go very quick. The lights going out. Do we get a good start compared to the cars around us? We get a good start compared to the car behind us. We break late. We've got the outside line. The line I would rather have going into turn one. And we can make nothing of it. Primoz closes the door. Not much to be done here. And now we're just trying to keep our front wing clean. We might not be in a good position, but we need to keep this front wing clean. Because it's crucial that we just keep scoring points. Especially when we're down in P7. Can we make a move on Primoz using a bit of ERS? But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to make anything of it going through this right hander. And yeah, a pretty dull lap when we move quickly onto lap two. This is the lap I wanted to pit. Do we pit? I don't know where our teammate is in 15th place, I think that is. And a lot of people pit, so I decide, you know what, we need to stay out. If we pit now, what are we going to gain? We're, we wanted to undercut Primoz. We're not going to undercut him by pitting in the same lap as him, so we may as well stay out and do the opposite of him. We've got nothing to lose, really, at this point. We, we've got to think different. This is where the racecraft has to come into it. And there, you can see we made a slight mistake through that right hander getting caught in the curb and it's just gone a little bit messy in this in lap it's not been a great in lap but we're just going to keep pushing on using a lot of ERS through um this first sector and then um, yeah at this point the softs 
they're not doing great they're overheating quite a lot these the left side of these tires get absolutely pounded um, throughout the lap as you can see we've just done three right handers and they're quick right handers not slow ones whatsoever uh, then coming through this left hander we don't actually get DRS which I don't understand why I, I, I'm pretty sure DRS was enabled uh, maybe I'm wrong uh, we didn't get it so I was really confused uh, I'm pretty sure we're in the 910th window but, um, yeah it is what it is but this in lap has been slightly messy uh, it's not looking amazing to be honest um, I don't think we're going to gain any positions unless there's been a bit of a uh, mess at the back but coming into the pit lane now make sure we stop in the marks this pit lane is extremely deceiving 60 kph rather than 80 so um you need to break more than you think come into the pit lane obviously we have ghosting in these pit lanes so we're not going to get held or, uh, we shouldn't be scared of getting held at least coming out of the pit lane now and um looks like we're going to be we're really looking for people like uh primos coming out of the pit lane now so we can extend the exit here at Primo, as you can see, he's ahead of us. He's actually gained time on his showing the undercut. This lap, uh, Jeffrey goes for the move. We defend slightly, and yeah, nothing is really made of it. Um, then that is Ikerbena. He actually went two laps longer than or longer than Primo's, and one lap longer than us. And uh, he nearly makes the move on us. But uh, yeah, nothing made of it again. So uh, now moving on to lap 12, we actually can see in the bottom right we've nearly got full battery. Uh, we had really good pace in the race at this point, but uh, yeah, we couldn't make anything of it just because, yeah, there, there was really nothing to do at this point. Um, it's probably the easiest defence of Primoz's life because there's literally nothing we can do. And um, yeah, the race was very boring. We skipped to the midway, mid part of um, the last lap, lap 18 out of 18, and we're still seventh. We've used all of our URS trying to pass Primoz. Keep in mind, Primoz had about 50% less than us at the time. Uh, when we were at full so uh yeah that just shows how difficult it is to pass and uh overtake cars which is a shame and um, we definitely had the pace but i can't really blame anyone um but myself we we messed up we we uh screwed ourselves over there with uh this last sector in qualifying which is a shame i really need to sort that out because in quality it's yeah it's it's getting it's starting to get a little bit frustrating uh, but yeah, come around the final corner, nothing can be made of. Uh, he does run out of VRS, we do get in a little bit, just showing how, I think if we had, uh, it is, if we had it maybe a lap or two, I think we might have been able to get him, because we're slowly closing in in pace, uh, as he, his tyres degraded, etc, etc. Uh, yeah, nothing can be made of it, and it, it's quite disappointing, that was a P7 finish. But um, yeah, I was contemplating not even uh, commentating over this race, but I thought, we didn't commentate over Britain. So, I feel like it would be a bit dead if I didn't commentate over this one as well. But, uh, yeah. I'm very sorry if this was a boring race. It's pretty painful to watch back. I'm sure you can understand. Watching these races back after... Uh, this is the day after the race. Watching these races back um, after it being a bad race is very painful. It's not enjoyable at all. But, yeah. That's P7 uh, in Zandvoort. we got P5 in Belgium. I'm not too sure about penalties. Penalties haven't been added or anything yet. Uh, so we could go up. We could... Uh, I hope we don't go down. I don't think I've done anything bad. But yeah, we could go up. Uh, but I don't think anything happened at the front. Maybe something I didn't see. So uh, there are, these are the provisional results. P5 and P7. So that's... Uh, I think you get 10 points for 5th. You must get like... It's like a 16 point haul. So uh, we're at like... 68 points or something 68 i think that is um with samuel being i think he's three points behind us and then ulas is in seventh about 20 points back and uh, we did close on our teammate christoph who's only 20 points or something ahead so uh, i think we can maybe fight for fourth or third now uh which to be honest considering all it could have been much worse um i'm not really happy how i performed in the whole of challengers uh, I just, it, it sounds like a very cheap excuse, I just don't enjoy it at all. It feels really like a chore going into these races, it's really unenjoyable, it, it feels like a job, and um, that's not what you want it to feel like. Uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that nice stuff. And uh, yeah, sorry if it was boring again, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.